चैप्टर फाइव मॉर्फोलॉजी ऑफ फ्लारिंग प्लांट्स पार्ट टू फाइव पॉइंट फाइव पॉइंट वन पार्ट्स ऑफ फ्लार ईच फ्लार नॉर्मली हैज फोर फ्लोरल वर्ल्ड नेमली कैलिक्स करोला एंड रोशियम एंड गाइनोशियम फाइव पॉइंट फाइव पॉइंट वन पॉइंट वन कैलिक्स द कैलिक्स इज द आउटर मोस्ट वर्ल्ड ऑफ द फ्लार एंड द मेम्बर्स आर कॉल्ड एज सेपल्स जनरली sepals are green leaf like and protect the flower in the bud stage the calyx may be gamosepalous that is sepals united or polysepalous that is sepals free 5.5.1.2 corolla corolla is composed of petals petals are usually brightly colored to attract insects for pollination like calyx Corolla may also be gamopetalous that is petals united or polypetalous that is petals free the shape and color of corolla vary greatly in plants corolla may be tubular bell shaped funnel shaped or wheel shaped aestivation the mode of arrangement of sepals or petals in floral bud with respect to the other members of the same whorl is known as aestivation the main types of aestivation are valvate twisted imbricate and vexillary when sepals or petals in a whorl just touch one another at the margin without overlapping as in callotropis it is said to be valvate if one margin of the appendage overlaps that of the next one and so on as in china rose lady finger and cotton it is called as twisted if the margins of sepals or petals overlap one another but not in any particular direction as in cassia and gulmohar the aestivation is called as imbricate in p and b flower there are five petals the largest standard overlaps the two lateral petals wings which in turn overlap the two smallest anterior petals that is keel this type of aestivation is known as vexillary or papilionaceous 5.5.1.3 androecium androecium is composed of stamens each stamen which represents the male reproductive organ consists of a stalk or a filament and an anther Each anther is usually bilobed and each lobe has two chambers the pollen sacs the pollen grains are produced in pollen sacs a sterile stamen is called as staminode stamens of flower may be united with other members such as petals or among themselves when stamens are attached to the petals they are called as epipetalous as in brinjal or epiphyllous when attached to the perianth as in the flowers of lily the stamens in flower may either remain free that is polyandrous or may be united in varying degrees the stamens may be united into one bunch or one bundle that is monoadelphous as in china rose or two bundles that is diadelphous as in pea or into more than two bundles that is polyadelphous as in citrus there may be a variation in the length of filaments within a flower as in salvia and mustard 5.5.1.4 gynoecium gynoecium is the female reproductive part of the flower and it is made up of one or more carpels a carpel consists of three parts namely stigma style and ovary Ovary is the enlarged basal part on which lies the elongated tube the style the style connects the ovary to the stigma the stigma is usually at the tip of the style and is the receptive surface for pollen grains each ovary bears one or more ovules attached to a flattened cushion like placenta when more than one carpel is present they may be free as in lotus and rose and are called as apocarpus they are termed as syncarpus when carpels are fused as in mustard and tomato 
After fertilization, the ovules develop into seeds and the ovary matures into a fruit. Placentation The arrangement of ovules within the ovary is known as placentation. The placentation are of different types, namely marginal, exile, parietal, basal, central and free central. In marginal placentation, the placenta forms a ridge along the ventral suture of the ovary and the ovules are born on this ridge forming two rows, as in P. When the placenta is axial and the ovules are attached to it in a multilocular ovary, the placentation is said to be exile as in china rose, tomato and lemon. In parietal placentation, the ovules develop on the inner wall of the ovary or on peripheral part. Ovary is one chambered but it becomes two chambered due to the formation of the false septum. Example, mustard and argimon. When the ovules are born on central axis and septa are absent as in dianthus and primrose, the placentation is called as free central. In basal placentation, the placenta develops at the base of ovary and the single ovule is attached to it as in sunflower, marigold. 5.6 The Fruit The fruit is a characteristic feature of the flowering plants. It is a mature or ripened ovary developed after fertilization. If a fruit is formed without fertilization of the ovary, it is called as parthenocarpic fruit. Generally, the fruit consists of a wall or pericarp and seeds. The pericarp may be dry or fleshy. When pericarp is thick and fleshy, it is differentiated into the outer epicarp the middle mesocarp and the inner endocarp. In mango and coconut, the fruit is known as true. They develop from monocarpillary superior ovaries and are one seeded. In mango, the pericarp is well differentiated into an outer thin epicarp, a middle fleshy edible mesocarp and an inner stony hard endocarp. In coconut, which is also a true, the mesocarp is fibrous. 5.7 The Seed The ovules after fertilization develop into seeds. A seed is made up of seed coat and an embryo. The embryo is made up of a radicin, an embryonal axis and one as in wheat, maize or two cotyledons as in gram and pea. 5.7.1 Structure of a Dicotyledonous Seed The outermost covering of a seed is the seed coat. The seed coat has two layers, the outer testa and the inner tegmen. The hilum is a scar on the seed coat through which the developing seeds were attached to the fruit. Above the hilum is a small pore called as micropyle. Within the seed coat is the embryo consisting of an embryonal axis and two cotyledons. The cotyledons are often fleshy and full of reserve food materials. At the two ends of the embryonal axis are present the radical and the plumule. In some seeds such as castor, the endosperm formed as a result of the double fertilization is a food storing tissue and called as endospermic seeds. In plants such as bean, gram and pea, the endosperm is not present in mature seeds and such seeds are called as non-endospermous. 5.7.2 Structure of monocotyledonous seed Generally, monocotyledonous seeds are endospermic but some as in orchids are non-endospermic. In the seeds of cereals such as maize, the seed coat is membranous and generally fused within the fruit wall. The endosperm is bulky and stores food. The outer covering of endosperm separates the embryo by a proteinaceous layer called as alluron layer. The embryo is small and situated in a group at one end of the endosperm. It consists of one large and shield-shaped cotyledon 
known as cutellum and a short axis with a plumule and a radical the plumule and the radical are enclosed in sheets which are called as coleoptile and coleoriza respectively 5.8 semi technical description of a typical flowering plant various morphological features are used to describe a flowering plant the description has to be brief in a simple and scientific language and presented in a proper sequence the plant is described beginning with its habit vegetative characters roots stem and leaves and then floral characters that is inflorescence and flower parts after describing various parts of a plant a floral diagram and a floral formula are represented the floral formula is represented by some symbols okay so these symbols just go through your text fusion is indicated by enclosing the figure within the bracket and adhesion by a line drawn above the symbols of the floral parts a floral diagram provides information about the number of parts of a flower their arrangement and the relation they have with one another the position of the mother axis with respect to the flower is represented by a dot on the top of the floral diagram calyx corolla and rosium and gynoecium are drawn in successive folds calyx being the outermost and the gynoecium being in the center floral formula also shows cohesion and adhesion within the parts of the whorls and between the whorls the floral diagram and floral formula in figure 5.20 represents the master plant which is included in the family brassicaceae 5.9 description of some important families 5.9.1 fabaceae this family was earlier called as papilionidae a subfamily of family leguminosae it is distributed all over the world vegetative characters that is trees shrubs herbs root with root nodules stem is erect or climber leaves is alternate pinnately compound or simple leaf base is pulvinate stipule venation is reticulate floral characters inflorescence is racemous flower is bisexual zygomorphic calyx sepals five gamosepalous valvate or imbricate aestivation corolla petals five polypetalous papilionaceous consisting of a posterior standard two lateral wings two anterior ones forming a keel enclosing stamens and pistil vexillary aestivation androecium 10 diadelphus anther dithecus gynoecium ovary superior monocarpellary unilocular with many ovules style single fruit legume seed one to many non endospermic for floral formula go through your text next is economic importance many plants belonging to the family are the sources of pulses gram or her sem moong soybean edible oil soybean groundnut dye indicofera fibers that is sun hemp fodder that is sesbania trifolium ornaments that is lupin sweet pea then medicine that is muliathi 5.9.2 solanaceae it is a large family commonly called as potato family it is widely distributed in tropics subtropics and even temperate zones vegetative characters plants mostly herbs shrubs and rarely small trees stem is herbaceous rarely woody aerial erect cylindrical branched solid or hollow hairy or glabrous underground stem in potato solanum tuberosum leaves is alternate simple rarely pinnately compound extipulate venation is reticulate floral characters first is inflorescence solitary axillary or cymose as in solanum flower is bisexual actinomorphic next calyx is sepals 5 united persistent valvate aestivation
Corolla is petals 5, United Velvet Estivation. Androsium, Stamens 5, Epipetalis, Gynosium, Bicarpillary, Obligately Placed, Syncarpus, Ovary Superior, Bilocular, Placenta swollen with many ovules, Exile. Fruits, Berry or Capsule, Seeds, Many, Endospermas. For floral formula, go through your text. Next is economic importance. Many plants belonging to this family are source of food, tomato, brinjal, potato, spice, chili, medicine, belladonna, ashwagandha. Next is fumigatory, that is tobacco, and ornamentals, that is petunia. 5.9.3 Liliaceae Commonly called the lily family, is a characteristic representative of monocotyledonous plants. It is distributed worldwide. Vegetative characters, perennial herbs with underground bulbs, combs, rhizomes, leaves mostly basal, alternate linear extipulate with parallel venation. Floral characters, inflorescence is solitary or cymose, often umbellate clusters. Flower bisexual actinomorphic, perianth tepals 6, that is 3 plus 3, often united into tube, velvet estivation. Androsium stamen 6, 3 plus 3, epitepalus, gynosium tricarpillary, syncarpus, ovary superior, trilocular with many ovules, exile placentation. Fruit capsule rarely berry. Seed endospermus. Again, for floral formula, go through your text. Economic importance. Many plants belonging to this family are good ornamentals, that is tulip gloriosa, source of medicine aloe, vegeta vegetables asparagus, and colchicine, that is colchicum autumnale. Summary. Flowering plants exhibit enormous variation in shape, size, structure, mode of nutrition, lifespan, habit, and habitat. They have well-developed root and shoot systems. Root system is either taproot or fibrous. Generally, dicotyledonous plants have tap roots, while monocotyledonous plants have fibrous roots. The roots in some plants get modified for storage of food, mechanical support and respiration. The shoot system is differentiated into stem, leaves, flowers and fruits. The morphological features of stem, like the presence of nodes and internodes, multicellular hair and positively phototropic nature help to differentiate the stems from roots. Stems also get modified to perform diverse functions such as storage of food, vegetative propagation and protection under different conditions. Leaf is lateral outgrowth of stem developed exogenously at the node. These are green in their shape, size, margin, apex and extent of incisions of leaf blade that is lamina. Like other parts of plants, the leaves also get modified into other structures such as tendrils, spines for climbing and protection respectively. The flower is a modified shoot meant for sexual reproduction. The flowers are arranged in different types of inflorescences. They exhibit enormous variation in structure, symmetry, position of ovary in relation to other parts, arrangement of petals, sepals, ovules, etc. After fertilization, the ovary is modified into fruits and ovules into seeds. Seeds either may be monocotyledonous or dicotyledonous. They vary in shape, size and period of viability. The floral characteristics form the basis of classification and identification of flowering plants. This can be illustrated through semi-technical descriptions of families. Hence. A flowering plant is described in a definite sequence by using scientific terms. The floral features are represented in the summarized form as floral diagrams and floral formula.